So you had these early entrepreneurial experiences, um, yet your family lovingly nudged, maybe directed you towards a different career. What did they sort of think yeah. you were set up for? Well, I, th I think, you know, as I said, law runs in my family. So I think my father thought, you know, I'd be a great lawyer. Um, I have an aunt who went to law school at a time when women were not going to law school. So my dad said, well, women can do this and you ought to consider law school. And I got to college. I started at UCLA. Um, <laughs> um, and uh, so I got to UCLA and my brother told me major in history. So that's exactly how I picked that major. So I was pre-law. Pre-law. But did you transfer to UCLA? I ended up transferring to University of Virginia, yeah. And you were studying what there? I was history. Okay. And what happened at UVA that sort of changed the direction of your studies? Well, what happened was that between my, as David alluded to earlier in the intro, but what happened was between my junior and senior year, I got a job working at what was then Cedars of Lebanon. It's now Cedar sinai but they had a cardiovascular research lab, and my cousin had a job there as like a gopher, you know, helping out in the lab, do this, do that, go for this. And so she was leaving at the end of the, uh, at the beginning of the summer, and she said, take my job. It pays really well. And I was going to be a waitress or something. Okay, I'll try that. So I, you know, I said, but I don't have any science experience. And she said, you don't really need it. And so I got there, and I really was turned on by it. And some interesting things happened when I was there. So that was your summer internship. When you went back to school, did you change your course of study? So I did. I did. But, but a funny story that relates to that, because I think there's always interesting people that you meet in life, and sometimes people you don't think are going to be influential turn out to be very influential. Well, they're in this lab. There are a lot of smart, science, geeky, nerdy types. You know, these kids there who worked there, who were students at Stanford, who were pre-med, they knew they wanted to be doctors from the time they were five years old. There were medical students, residents. There was me, who had no science background at all. I was the one and only, except for there was an, a, another young woman there who was uh, a year ahead of me in school, who was a USC student. And she came from a, a, a a very renowned family. Her father was a very famous actor, and she always struck me as, you know, kind of a sorority girl and not at all anything like the other people who were working in the lab. So she used to go scuba diving with Jacques Cousteau on the weekends, you know. So one, one day at lunch, she says to me, So what are you going to do when you? I, I asked her, What are you going to do when you finish the end of the summer? And she looks at me, she says, Well, I'm going to go to medical school. And I went, really? Like, you're kidding me. She was nothing like these other kids. And she looked at me like, well, even you could do it. <laughs> you only need a year's worth of pre-med. And I remember thinking, you know, I wasn't insulted. I, I was actually, wow, no one ever said that to me. No one ever said, I could go to medical school. And I found what everybody was doing in this lab was so interesting. So that kind of flipped you know, my whole career path on its head. So when you went back to UVA, you changed your course of study, and then how'd you break the news yeah. to uh, your folks? So I told my parents, I said, I, you know, guess what, Dad, I'm not gonna go to law school, even though he's sending me law school applications right and left. Um, I think I'm gonna go to medical school. And I really thought my parents were gonna drop the phone. I mean, there was dead silence. And I'm like, well, what do you think? My dad says, well, you're not good at science. I said, well, OK, but how do we know that? And he said, well, that's what your teachers in high school always said, that you were better for liberal arts, that you know, steer clear of science. I don't even know why, except for you know, I took one biology class. I don't remember failing it or anything. So I, th I thought, you know, uh, I'm not sure my dad really knows, even though my, as a parent, he should know me so well. I, I think you're really mistaken about that, and I, I think I want to try and find out. So that's what I did, and and it was that I sort of look back on that, and I think, well, that was a real moment of bravery on my part, because I usually do listen to my parents, and so that was that was uh, that was kind of really stepping outside of my comfort zone there. 
it's uh, it's something that everyone can relate to. You want to you want to please your parents. You know, you want to make them proud. And you said you know they do know you, but yeah. they don't know you as well as you do, right? That's right. That's right. Yeah. It's uh, it's interesting to hear that. Um, <laughs> it's also interesting to hear someone say. I want to go to, I'm so disappointed you're only going to medical school. <laughs> <laughs> well, no, I no, think my that family, that would right. be like huge celebration. <laughs> well, well, my dad did follow it up and say, you know, I hate doctors. <laughs> so the lawyers just don't like doctors. But, um, I, no, I, you know, I think it was just, uh, I, I think what they were worried about was that I was going to try and I was going to apply. We had no doctors in our family, not on either side. And I was the first one and that I was going to apply and I was going to not get in. And so, you know, as a parent, you never want your kids to be disappointed. You want what's best for them. And you think you know them so well and you can guide them. So I knew, I knew they had my interest at heart, but I was going to do it anyway. Well, that, that theme sort of repeats in your story, so it's good to hear early on. So you went back to UVA and uh, you now graduate with what degree? Uh, history. History, okay.